Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2023 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of October and this reading is for the earth sign of Virgo. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being here, for taking the time to watch these videos, uh, commenting. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button, especially that like button. It really does help. And those of you who reach out for personal readings, those of you who refer and recommend me to others, my gratitude for all of it. Thank you so much and many blessings back to you. Okay, Virgo, if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Virgo, if you're cross-watching for a Virgo, Virgo, this video is for you. It's a general reading, so it may resonate a little differently for everyone. If you know any or all of your other signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, watch those for additional insight. Uh, if you find that something really does reach you, it really does resonate with you, and you'd like to take a deeper look at it, peel it back a bit, and reach out for a personal reading, for yourself or as a gift for someone else please feel free to email me directly or if you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a reading uh, please feel free to uh, email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also see that contact info by clicking the title or description of this video i would love to hear from you and i can usually get back to you the same day with more information i do offer a pretty wide array of reading choices in all areas of life different types lengths styles and budgets there's something in there for every one. And I do readings full time. It is all that I do. So I'm able to schedule readings in a fairly timely fashion as well if that's important to you. So email me if you're interested. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what the last half of October 2023 looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. It's nice. We begin with healing, the Six of Swords, which does imply that something happened prior to this. Uh, because you've left the worst behind you, choppy, muddy water. You're sailing into waters that are more calm and placid and serene. Uh, you're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're definitely moving in the right direction. Healing, of course, as I always say, has its ups and downs, especially in the beginning. You have good times, you have bad times, but overall moving in the right direction. Ooh, the tower. It's interesting your, your sister sign, Taurus, uh, had something similar too. The tower, unexpected events, things shaking down right to the core, maybe something breaking down or ending as well. Uh, some major unexpected event which causes change, but there's also healing coming as a result of that. The tower, I mean, it's major arcana card. Divine timing and orchestration is always behind the tower. Um, and it's always there because something needs to change. It's time for something to change. And so it's about change moving forward. And even if the tower is really challenging, within that is the spirit-driven opportunity for change, to build something new moving forward. Healing here. Next, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, showing up as a queen, as a female, but could be a male as well in a general reading. This could be somebody that's relevant or important in this situation. It could be uh, energy that you're manifesting, the Queen of Fire, energetic, charismatic, a go-getter, a good leader, a good delegator, very intentional and action-oriented. With the Nine of Wands, our wounded warrior card, somebody who's already been through quite a lot and there's just yet something else that needs to be addressed but it's but tens represent cycle endings here so uh, close to the end of a difficult cycle it might be how you feel about this person it might be how they feel about you about the situation it might be some combination of both for others of you virgo it might just be you manifesting this queen of wands energy and going oh, okay i'm so tired I'm, I'm discouraged i feel sometimes like giving up but i'm just gonna push through being that queen of wands Ooh! next we have the six of wands victory triumph success after a challenge after a battle winning with the nine of coins independence self-sufficiency self-empowerment somebody who's worked really hard to get to a place where they don't need to ask for anything from anyone or they're able to doesn't mean they can't ask for help or reach out for anything but the nine of coins there's a sense of empowerment and self-confidence that comes from having worked long and hard to get to a place where they feel that way, right? It's a very self-sufficient and self-empowered kind of card. Okay, from the bottom of the deck, representing overall focus and theme for the last half of October is the Ten of Coins. 
So long-term security and stability is the focus. That's what coins is. Coins are pentacles, same thing. It's earth, um, which typically represents, you know, um, money, finance, property, resources, assets, or even emotional, like long-term stable relationships. The elements of earth, which governs the suit of coins or pentacles, is about the things in our life that bring us stability and security and the efforts we put into acquiring, maintaining, and growing those things. And the Ten of Coins has a strong connection to home and family. It can be family money, business, property, estate, um, inheritance. Um, but it's about long-term security and stability, which means not having to worry so much about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Let's clarify that. Because obviously something happened here with the Six of Swords and the Tower. Obviously something happened. It might be about money. It might be about the family. Combination of both. Might be about inheritance. Okay, Ten of Swords is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So there's there's healing here, which which I like to see. Again, we have the Six of Swords, and whenever you have repeating cards, it's kind of like pointing to the energy of that. And so I'm glad to see Six of Swords healing twice. We have the Five of Cups, which is grief, loss, sorrow, regret. The Five of Pentacles, which is insufficiency and lack financially, materially, or emotionally, you know, kind of feeling shut out or something of that sort. Something didn't work out well, um, but there's healing here. Strong theme of, of home, family, money. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And I mean like interconnected with each other. Like f there might be money issues here, but there's a strong family theme here too. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords and the Tower. Oh, beautiful. The star, renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism, which I really like seeing because in the tarot, the star comes after the tower. So after that tower comes crashing down, the star comes to renew, restore hope, faith, and optimism and rebuild. Page of Cups, strength, ace of cups, reaching out, positive messages, keeping the heart open, um, having the strength to face your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, and also the part that you've had to play in this as well. It may be have something to do with relationships or a family or familial relationship as well because there's con kind of a reconciliation energy in this as well. Let's take a look at that tower. The Empress and the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict, internal, external, fighting about the same thing over and over and over again. The Empress could be that Queen of Wands. It could be a mother, a maternal figure. It could be a great big huge fight with your mother or with your kid or, you know, where you guys weren't talking to each other. You were estranged or separated for some period of time. Um... could be about fertility I, or just another person because I'm feeling another person here and again major breakup separation fights arguments not seeing things and that causing some kind of separation and estrangement um, within the relationship perhaps within the family itself but in the last half of October there is healing which I really like seeing. So with the Queen of Wands, we have, uh, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords, which is surrendering to a painful ending or feeling betrayed, thrown under the bus, stabbed in the back, Six of Cups, home, family, roots of origin, history, Ten of Pentacles, family, long-term security, stability. I feel like this is familial for, for a lot of you. Like it's it's about the family itself. There might be money issues and involved. It might be that there were disagreements or arguments about money. There was, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. There, I feel like there was a rift, a break in some kind of family system here. It might have something to do with mothers and daughters or mothers and sons or something like that. But there was a rift here. And there may be money issues tied up in that too. But it felt like... Um, you, you felt, Gemini, like somebody just kind of stabbed you in the back or didn't, I don't know, <laughs> like you depended on them for something and they let you down. And maybe they'd done that before in the past as well. Not knowing how things were going to work out.
clarify six of wands and nine of coins because for some of you you may have reached out to someone for help and they said no when you expected them to help you at least in some way and you just decided you can do this on your own you you know bugger that you can do this on your own it might be that for some of you but I think others of you I'm actually feeling like there's chance for healing within a relationship or a family here although some of you may just choose to go your own way you might feel like that's better six of wands five of swords yep it might be better just to go my own way and cut these people out I don't need this anymore judgment and the fool making a decision to start a complete and total new path a complete new life cycle moving forward it might be moving or relocating for some of you as well i do get a strong sense of healing here but that healing might might include just cutting some people off is what i'm seeing here as well um i mean in the in the end you're at a very good you're you're on a very good path that's a very determined path determined not to make the same mistakes again moving forward all right any advice guidance feedback from spirit <clears throat> ace of swords ace of pentacles ideas a new perspective a new perspective on how to how to deal with something how to start over how to rebuild the devil and the chariot the devil and unhealthy cycle perhaps or it could just be obsessive energy because after that we have the chariot which is a card of success that comes through sheer perseverance determination and willpower um there's a strong kind of bit of advice here about not giving up there's a different maybe seeing something through a different pair of lenses seeing something in a different way learning how you can move forward or restart something or rebuild something in a different way um, because it's 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 worth fighting for it it's worth not giving up on it. it's worth fighting for but there's some kind of unhealthy negative cycle that needs to stop in order for this to happen if this is a relationship that's been that's had its issues and has been up and down for some of you within this family system there might have been a pattern of just okay if we don't agree I'm gonna cut you off until you do agree or you know yeah if you don't see eye to eye it's well then i have to separate myself from you that's not true i mean there's some kind of bridge that can be built between the two of you here i mean free will free agency right but spirit is saying it's it's worth fighting for and not to give up on it all right <clears throat> i'm going to leave it there virgo those are your messages for the last half of october i hope you found them useful and relevant uh, again if you did and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, maybe reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the November general readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.